Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay out late. Sorry, I just had to. I think about that whenever I say good morning to you guys. So, I'm sorry for new people. Yes, I am that crazy. Um, anyways, good morning and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim and this is a podcast, everybody together, all about knitting, thinning, and dyeing of yarn. All of which I do from my home right here outside of Lima, Ohio, where I live with my puppy dog who just jumped on the sofa over here. Sorry, I'm rubbing against the sofa, which makes a squeaking sound. Um, Tommy the cat, which I'm not sure where Tommy is, or Purdy is. Purdy is probably asleep on my bed. Um, but I also live here with my very nice, very wonderful father-in-law, Ronald, and I live here with my very handsome, very lovely, very nice husband, Randy. And of course with myself and any other little critters that might, I hope there aren't other critters around here, but you never know. Anyways, uh, I want to welcome everybody. I want to thank you for joining us today. <sighs> if you have knitting or crocheting you work on, why don't you just take a deep breath and sit down. If you need to get a cup of tea, that's fine. But just pause the video, go get your cup of tea or coffee or whatever, and just sit down and let's chill for a little bit. I've got my tea. I actually have my black tea with a hint of Sicilian lemon and honeysuckle. It's my favorite um, bottle tea, Pure Leaf Tea um, Tea House. I think it's called. This does not say Tea House, but I think that's what it is. Yeah, the unfortunate thing, it comes in glass bottles, which can be used, which is a good thing. But um, our recycling center doesn't recycle glass bottles. It just seems silly to me, but hey. Uh, anyways, um, let me get through the administration th things and then we'll go on to just, you know, other stuff. Today's April 14th, 2020, and this is episode number 206. Now you can find me online on Ravelry. I have my own page, which is Napier's Knits, or I have a podcast group page, which is Naturally Kim's Knitting Podcast Group. And that's where you can enter knit alongs, the occasional giveaway, which I might have one coming up soon. I haven't decided. Um, knit alongs, sorry, giveaways, um, just chatting, whatever. So anyways, um, then you can also find me on Instagram as knitting underscore Kim and YouTube blogger and WordPress as naturally Kim's knitting. We have a new friend, twins mom times two, or X two, I'm assuming it's times two. I don't know if that means she has two sets of twins, but anyways, I want everybody to welcome her, make her feel so much at home. Um, she's already entered something into our finished object knit along, so that's a good thing. Speaking of which, we do have, I say knit along, they're craft alongs. I say knit along because I don't crochet and even though I have masks cut up cut out I haven't actually stitched them yet I'm going to might be a task for my my biggest problem we have this lovely house and it has this wonderful um, family room is what I call it we have a fireplace in here which we didn't use this year because it's not clean um, and it's just comfortable and everything both rooms are but our front room is like our formal living room my father-in-law basically spends his time in there and so and that's where my sewing machine is so whenever i want to sew i worry that i'm going to either bother him or wake him up what i need to do is go in there when um my husband's home because they're usually chatting so anyways i will be sewing soon um so anyways welcome twins Twins Mom X2. So we do have a finished object knit along for April. Um, take pictures of any finished object that you've made. Post it under the finished object um, thread for April. I have to look and see what month it was. And if there's a pattern name, go ahead and put the pattern name. And at the end of, well, actually the first day of the next month, I close that thread. I use random number generator and we have winners. Now, 
If we have from 1 to 10 entries, I draw one number. 10 to 20, I draw two. Actually, if it's more than 10, is that the way I do it? When it reaches 20, I draw two. When it reaches 30, I draw three, so on. Usually there's about three or four winners a month. So what do the winners get? Well, let me tell you. Um, with the price of postage sky high, it's hard for me to send yarn and things to you guys. However, you can choose from either a $10 gift card from Knit Picks or from Amazon or any uh, pattern from Rav giftable pattern from Ravelry up to $10 in value. So, and in, in addition, I'm sorry, I'm reading my show notes, I forgot to mention this. In addition to posting it on Ravelry thread, feel free to, if you want to instead, you could post it on WordPress or bloggers, um, naturally Kim's Knitting for both, and just put it in the comments. And I read those when I get them, and that would be another way of entering. I am horrible about touching my face. I know you're not supposed to. I did just wash my hands. Anyway, so we have that going on. Then we have an any free pattern on Ravelry craft along. So let's say you found a really cute free hat pattern, which I do have some links to free um, patterns on my show notes at Blogger and WordPress. Um, anyway, so let's say you found, oh, there's a, there's a cute little coronavirus hat out there. Um, there's socks. There's all kinds of free things right now. So there's always free things. If you want to go to Ravelry and type in free patterns, it'll bring up lots and lots and lots. I checked today and I found, I think it was 75 free patterns. <laughs> so, you know, there's lots, there's, uh, I mean, you can find scarves, you can find shawls, hats, mitts, all kinds of things. So, find a favorite that's free. Craft it up, take a picture of it along with the pattern name, and post it under the Any Free Pattern on Ravelry Craft Along. Uh, let's see. Now, the winners for this, it's going to be basically the same as the prizes for the other one. Um... $10 Amazon, nitpicks, either one, gift card, or a free Ravelry, a, a, not a free Ravelry. That would be silly to give you guys a surprise, a free Ravelry. Um, any giftable pattern on Ravelry, Ravelry for up to $10. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, then. You know, last month we had our um Myla's Knit Corner, which Fiona, you won this and I haven't heard back from you. You, you need to do it soon. Um Well wow, Myla was so tickled that she sent me this little note today. Dear Kim, thank you so much for your pr previous purchase. To all who purchase anything from my store in the past. I offer one free pattern. So if you've purchased anything from Myla in the past, go to her website, find one pattern, um, push the buy button, and then there'll be a little place to put a code and put sending hugs. Is it that appropriate? Since I always send hugs whenever I you know, whenever I talk with people, you know, even if I can't hug them in person, I send a hug. There's no expiration for this. As long as you've purchased in the past, you can get another pattern for free. Um, this was just one way I could share an act of kindness and say thank you to everyone who likes my designs. Stay strong, healthy, keep on knitting and creating. From my hands with love to yours, Myla. And I picked... Let me see if I can get a picture. Oh, it didn't. I thought it bring it. Oh, it won't. I picked the Leave Me Not shawl. I, it was gorgeous. And I don't, didn't have that one. I have the perfect yarn that I want to do. In fact, it was yarn that she gifted me. Oh, it's not over here. I knew that. 
it was yarn she gifted me and uh i just think it's, it'll be perfect for that so yeah check out myla's knit corner free pattern don't forget you need to put in sending hugs as the code and it does work because i got my pattern free okay wow <laughs> I want to tell a couple people thank you well I want to thank anybody who ever gifts back their prize to me what did I get from there I had somebody who decided to gift back the the giftable pattern and so I got the wicker work pullover by Michelle Wang it's been on my wish list so I was able to purchase it and I think it's number three in my queue right now. I can't wait to work on it. Um, and then somebody else gifted me back their Amazon card. So I got on there. And I think I had to pay 34 cents over, over the $10. <gasps> I got this. Manny Petty Yarn. Lion Brand Manny Petty Yarn. Let me see if I can get one of these skeins to come in clear. Anyways, it's Lion Brand, Manny Petty, and the colorway is yoga. I just saw that, and it looked serene. I don't, it, I don't know if it'll be go to a man or a woman at soup kitchens, but whenever I get a gift card that is gifted back to me, I get yarn for, for soup kitchens. The pattern I could have gotten socks for soup kitchen. But generally for soup kitchen, I just do the knitting, the stock and that stitch. Which I told you last week I was going to start a pair of socks for the soup kitchen. Oh. <laughs> I have one pair of long cabled needles that is perfect for starting two, pair, two socks at a time. Which is the way I do it. I do it on one set of needles. Then I transfer it over to my little... Um, I call them my zippity doo dah needles, those little things. My needle broke. I was casting on a pair of socks for my cousin who's in, in a care facility. I had promised her these like a year and a half ago, her and her sister. Her sister is closer to my age, but this was a cousin that's in the care facility was the lady who taught me how to knit. So I was going to cast those on first and then cast on the soup kitchen socks. When I cast on the first one, the needle broke. Actually, it was kind of nice because I wanted to make them a little bit looser anyway. So I did have the next, next pair up to start with. So I had to order a long cabled needle. And I haven't received it yet. So I am not starting any more new socks until I get that needle. Because you know how it, it, I work with wooden needles because it's easier in arthritic fingers than the metal is. And right at the tip, it just kind of... It left a very sharp point. It broke off a left very sharp point. So it was just next to impossible to knit with. I tried. I tried to knit with it, but it was next to impossible. So there is no soup kitchen sock this week. Just like I didn't start a new chemo cap yet. Re well, I'll do my finished object first. Ooh. Do you remember the triaxial hat that I showed you last week by Triona Designs? I wasn't happy with it because you could not I like the hat and that's actually going to go to Genevieve because she loves purple she'll love this yarn it was actually out of this yarn and she, she loved I know she'll love the yarn it's purple it's soft she'll like the fact that it has the little you know how come whenever I do the podcast I can't think what this yarn is called anyways so I'm going to send that to her well this is the one I had extra bulky weight yarn and so I decided to knit up another one I just barely had enough there's the crown look at isn't that gorgeous this is by Triona Designs I'm posting this to her today um isn't that look at that pattern on the side isn't that gorgeous 
I, I love it. I will probably, when I have, actually I can make kids out of worsted weight. So, I may make more of these just for chemo caps, probably. I like making chemo caps. You didn't know that about me, did you? I love making things for other people. In fact, I have a pair of socks for my friend Jamie, if you're watching. I need to mail them to her. <laughs> so, that's the triaxial. And that's by Triona Designs. And she did say, even though it's not out yet, she did say we could post pictures. So, there you go. My only finished object for the week. That's okay, though. Because... Where to next? Well, I showed you these needles. I might as well show you the socks. These are my socks. And I can't remember the name of this yarn. It was um, WIS West Yorkshire Spinners. But I can't remember the color name. I even looked it up special. I'm sorry, Fiona. I'm horrible when it comes to that. And they're going to look blue on the camera. I don't know why, but they are purple. And I haven't figured out a name for this pattern yet. Please, somebody help me. I am not creative when it comes to naming things. I asked my daughter, didn't hear anything back. I may have to go to my husband. But can you see the pattern? It kind of has a little wiggle in it. And it's a lacy type pattern. And I am, on this one, I am actually working the ribbing. I'm almost done got my favorite heel so yeah and these are mine I'm, I'm going to post the pattern but I need a name for the pattern first I love it I love it because it reminds me we have a path that goes we have some woods behind our house and we have a, a lane it actually belongs to my neighbors but she lets us use it and it just it's not a straight paved lane it kind of wiggles around and I don't know my dog never walks in a straight line so the little wiggle up there reminds me of how my doggy walks so anyway I don't know what I'll call these socks but if you have ideas I'm serious I could use some help I'm sorry it's so dark over here over here <laughs> I always forget how things are opposite on my camera now, somebody's saying, well, well, what about your sweater, Kim? What about your sweater? It's getting closer. Let me see, show you the right side. This is Shakespeare in Love by Carol Sunday. It is a pay-for pattern. I've had this for ages. And I'm on the sleeves. And I've done all the, re the increases, so now I'm just making the pattern. I love, love, love this pattern. And not that I want it to stay chilly out, but if it stays chilly for just a little bit longer, I might be able to wear this before before next winter. So yeah, there's one sleeve. I'm, I decided to do two sleeves at once because I get sleeveitis. I get so close to finishing something and I get to the sleeves and it's like, my knitting mojo leaves me. So I thought, you know what? Rather than do one sleeve and have that happen on the second sleeve, do them both at the same time. I stay on the same row with them. They will end at the same length. That's Shakespeare in Love. And I decided to make it red because I started it on Valentine's Day. And, uh, you know, red just, just makes sense. Red hearts love could have been pink but i like red better i don't own a lot of pink because pink doesn't always look good on me now i also have these are the socks that i started for my cousin that i went to a size up needle i'm so glad i did i actually bought this yarn which is a discontinued felici i bought it on ebay and i got it for a really good price and it's called dockside and I was trying to decide whether to make it for my cousin or not. I don't know. But as I'm knitting it up, knowing Felici, Felici self-striping. So I didn't really want to put a pattern in. I could have, but I didn't want to. 
And I worked on this last night, and I think I've got maybe three quarters of an inch before I'm ready for the heel. So I'm not ready. Uh, I take a, I have to take an Ambien to get to sleep at night. I have a sleeping disorder. I cannot. I've always had this issue, but it was never diagnosed until I got to be an adult. Because I used to drive my mom crazy because I could not sleep and I could not sleep. And I would be awake at midnight and have to get up and go to school the next day. I just could not sleep. Well, I did not know that I had, I just thought everybody was like that. Well, now I have to take a sleeping pill to go to sleep at night. I, oh, it works, unless I'm in a lot of pain. But last night, I must not have taken the sleeping pill. <laughs> because two hours later, I'm wide awake. I had been knitting away on this sock, and I'm thinking, I turned on a movie and put my earbuds in and was listening to a movie while I was knitting. And when that movie was over, I'm thinking, why am I wide awake? I should have been asleep before that movie was over. So I took I took one then and I went to sleep pretty quickly. But I did get to work on that sock for a while. So anyways, this is the toe of the other one. I haven't gotten very far with this. I want to get to the heel on this one and then I'll work on this one to the heel. So those are for my cousin Linda. Linda, my my knitting teacher. I can't, I, I would say she's my favorite cousin, but other cousins might take offense, like her sister. Leanne and I did some crazy things with our friends. Our friend, another friend named Linda, when we were teenagers, we would go out and we'd just have all kinds of fun. I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything, so let me see. <laughs> well, let me ask you guys. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, before I go to chatting, let me tell you what nitpicks got for sale. They got some pretty good deals. I am an affiliate. And there are, if you click the links on my show notes on Blogger and WordPress, Naturally Ken's Knitting, um, if you click those links, they should take you right to the store and then I can get a couple of pennies. But they are having 40% off of their books. They have great books. I like their pattern books. I can't go in the store because I would spend money right now. 20% off of their Shine yarn, which is a cotton blend yarn. Um, and to go along with that, I love this. Not that I can purchase any right now. I'm saving for something else, but you know. Sweet sweater savings. So you get 10% off when you purchase I don't know if it's 10 and more or if it's more than 10 skeins of select cotton blend yarns, including shine. So you're getting 20% off of shine. Then if you're buying 10 skeins of it to make a sweater or something, you can get another 10% off. Now you do have to put a code in called sweater 10 at the checkout, but I think it's a good deal. I wish I've been, buying sock yarn for um, my soup kitchen people. So I don't have money to go to um, nitpicks right now. <laughs> as far as my book reviews go, I've been post, I just post them on reading, writing, and so much more on um, Blogger. So if you'd like to see what I've been reading, feel free to go there. Um, I've been reading some, I have one of them up here, nonfiction Christian books, the most important stories of the Bible. It's not a very thick book. I would not say that this is for the dyed in the wool Christian, but it would be a great read along with kids. There aren't pictures, but the stories, it shows how the stories are tied together throughout the Bible. So it's a great, if you have a child in your life and you would like to read to them, um, the stories aren't very long, um, page and a half for each story. So it was a good book. It was a good book. It's just not for the dyed in the wool Christian. It could be for the beginning Christian. 
or like I said, if you want to read it with the child. But I have books like that that I've been reading, and I've got two more that I'm reading right now. But I'm going to share this with you. I am so tickled. Um, our governor suggested yesterday that we reach out to five people. Now, not in person. Yeah, got to stay social distance. But send them a card. Give them a phone call. Send them an email. Five people every day. Well, that goes right with what our church is doing. Well, not the whole church. I'm sorry. You know I volunteer at our church on um, two days a week. Wednesdays and Fridays. I have to check. Wednesdays and Fridays. If that's the ones that have done it. Well, I have to check. I can't remember which days. <laughs> I used to always be Tuesdays, and I'm not Tuesdays anymore, I know that. Anyways, Miss Brenda from the office, I love that lady very much. She She's given me a list of some people that either don't have internet, some of them don't have their phone numbers listed in our church directory, and she asked me to get in contact with them, and the ones that have phone numbers to call, and the other ones to send cards. So I have been loving this. I made some calls yesterday, a couple of calls to people I really hadn't ever met. I know their faces, but I hadn't gone up and greeted them. That's the disadvantage to two services, two or more services, because you get set going to one service every week, and you don't actually talk to the people in the other service. But she gave me a list of names to either send a card to or call. Then yesterday she called me and she asked me if I could, would mind calling some people from the directory. I, I love talking on the phone. You know I love talking. Well, I love talking on the phone to people. And so when I can, I do that. But when I can't, if they don't have a, a listed phone number or um, they're not home, I send one of these. I color them. And send them to you to them. I got these from Amazon. And there's 44 cards in here um, to show how to share God's love, peace, and joy with others. Well, I love coloring these. Oh, well, Ron, please leave that on. I'm doing my podcast. I need that light on. Pardon? I need that light on. Oh, you want to? Oh, okay. Anyways, I started coloring this one and I didn't get very far. That's okay. But like this one says, the Lord will guide you always. Um, commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. So you just color them and they fit right into other note cards. And so I just send these off to people. It's, I, it's an act of joy for me because I, I love coloring and I love connecting with people. So... And Brenda knows this. She knows I'm a talker. <laughs> but I've made friends at the church that way. We used to do a ministry at the church. Uh, this is chatting time in case you didn't guess. I'm sorry. I didn't introduce it. We used to do a ministry at the church. And um, my friend Janie and uh, my other friend Tim, they were in charge of it. Where... People, one day a week, people could come in, and if they needed assistance, we would see what we could do. Sometimes all we could do was pray for them, but whatever we could, we did. There was, oh, there's been three or four people that um, didn't have a church home that would come in. And I would, they'd come up to the counter while they'd be waiting for Tim or Janie, and we would get talking, and I would tell them, you know, if you ever want to come to our church and you don't have anybody to come with you because that was what they were telling me I'd say I sit in the back because I knit and I'm always knitting just come and sit with me and I made a few good friends that way which is such a blessing so anyways oh, how are you guys doing I hope you're not going too stir crazy yet I, you know, God's amazing because 
I've been a stay-at-home person for the last few years. Um, I do get outside to garden and things, but I don't drive the car because I have arthritis in my hands, which keeps me, it hurts me to drive very long. And I've been having shoulder issues and you know, one thing or another. So I just haven't driven very much in the last couple of years. Um, and my husband has the car. He has to drive to work every day. So, you know, no big deal. And it's been very, to me, I've not noticed the difference in, um, you know, being, having to be shut in the house or, you know, doing it because of my health issues. It's not really been a big issue for me, but you do miss other people, contact with other people. The funny thing is I haven't even gotten as many phone calls as I used to. So I did have something interesting happen last week. Though. I had my first virtual doctor's appointment. <laughs> it was interesting. It was a lot shorter than other doctor's appointments because, you know, they can't take your blood pressure and all that over the phone. But uh, we just got talking about, you know, things that health issues that I have and um, why I had to kind of stop exercising. I have my back pain is back and my um, until I have the surgery on my shoulder and we find out what's causing it to hurt. I have that going on. But that's going to be until after this is over because, you know, right now, surgeries that aren't needed for life, you know, heart surgeries or whatever, um, those, those need to be put off. And this isn't that drastic. It's my right arm, but hey, hey, <laughs> you can pray for me if you want to just help me get, help take the pain away because I've been having issues lately. But, um. Anyways, it was so interesting to have a doctor's appointment like that, but it was nice that we could. I was sitting there thinking, you know, if this had been years ago before the internet was like it is now and where we have the technologies of, you know, phones with video capabilities, because that's the way I talk to him. You can't do it on your computer. Even if you have a webcam, you have to use the phone. Or, you know, tablet. And so I, well, I was using my phone and I'm thinking, wow. You know, it's always amazing when I talk to my grandkids and I use my phone. But then to have a doctor's appointment that way, it was interesting. So, praise God for that technology. He had to put that in somebody's brain to develop this to help us in the future. It's amazing. I mean, God knows everything. He has these he has people doing things that, you know, somebody's working on something now that we're not going to really appreciate until in the future sometime. I'm sorry, I'm going on tangent here, but when, when before I had my knee replacements, um, I was teaching. And I was going to be a teacher until retirement age. I was going to be a teacher for at least 30 years. Well, I subbed for three years. I taught at another school for two, and then I went to Temple Christian for three years. And he gave me that blessing. But then when he, not he, but then when my knees started acting up, I could not figure out what in the world was going on. Why was this happening to me? I love teach. I still love teaching kids, not adults. I. Adults make me giggle when I teach them. But um, if I wouldn't have been taken out of that, I wouldn't have started knitting for soup kitchens. I wouldn't have started knitting my caps for chemo kids. I wouldn't be doing this podcast. I would have never experienced spinning or dying of my own yarn. But, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing. Sometimes you have to look for the thing that God wants you to do, but you know, when you find it, it's just right. So yeah, there's my sermon for today. Sorry. <laughs> Can't help it. Anyway, yes, I could help it, but you know. So anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, 
find something to distract you, reach out and touch some people through a phone call or an email. Just have a, have a good week. I hope all your craftiness is successful. I hope you don't make any mistakes, but if you do, I hope they're little ones that are easy to fix. I love all of you. Big, big hugs. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.